girls with him told me he ain't got a preference. Got them both down and I asked a few questions. That last week and they already best friends, already best friends. Hey Goldies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fabiola and hi. This is a dedicated video to all the things I've collected for the summer. Um, and by things I mean more so fashion like uh, outfits for work and outfits that I can go out with. Usually I buy my clothes with the thought in mind that I'm gonna be able to wear this to work and to brunch with my friends at any given moment. So, because I just don't wanna have too many of certain things, like I don't wanna have a whole bunch of going out clothes, a whole bunch of work clothes. The only thing I'll have a whole bunch of is probably church clothes, but I haven't made the move to going back to church in person yet. And now I'm rambling. So if you wanna see all of the things that I've collected for summer 2022, keep on watching. Since May and a bit in June, I've been, uh, collecting these things. Some of these items I've worn already, but I tried like my very hard, my very best not to wear them yet because I want to style them to include in this video. So first item up is this dress. Which I got from H&M and I absolutely love this dress. I wish I got it in a bigger size. I got a medium because I'm used to being a medium. So I bought a medium, but I needed a large. My boobs are definitely squished, but I love it so much. I look so girly and cute, and I can definitely wear this to brunch. Oh, okay. So, like I was saying, I can definitely wear this to lunch, to brunch to dinner, to work, to anything. Uh, definitely not church, but I can def wear this to any of those places. I wore it to work today and I got so many compliments outside and inside of work. So I am definitely going to pick up a large because I'm tired of my boots being squished. And this is also a piece that I feel like you can still wear in the fall and winter just layer it up okay next so since we're in H&M we're gonna I have a lot of H&M stuff I just love H&M so uh, I got some jewelry uh, of course I've already used some of them but to me these pieces just scream summer like they're so pretty there's a pearl ear um, a seashell earring on here that I've already worn and a hoop that I've already worn, but it turned, so I threw it out. But the seesaw earring, I still have. The gold parts are turning, so I think I'm gonna just paint it, repaint the gold part, because I really like the earrings, and I'm going to Mexico in August. And I think, not I think, I will be using these. And this was $17.99 for the whole thing. Next up, I got a set of tank white feeders, tank tops whatever you call them. It was a black and white set. This is the black one. I've worn it so many times since I bought it, like so many times. I actually wanna go buy another pair. The white one, filthy. I've worn it way too many times. Like, I wore it all Memorial Day weekend, literally, every single day. I love them. I'm gonna definitely go back for another pair. They were only $10 for two. So yeah. Next up in the H, still in the H&M. Yeah, this is H&M. Are these linen tr white trousers? I am a linen girl, okay? Summertime, linen me up. Any color, it doesn't have to be white like linen me up and i've also worn these i wore these to lunch um maybe two weekends ago with my friend love it 
Um, the pants are, they're very lightweight, they're super long, um, and they're baggy, of course. I got them in a size medium. And of course, I told you guys I'm gonna style these pieces at the end so you guys can see how I would wear them. And I will most likely be styling them with things that I have in my closet if I can't like put anything together with just the pieces that I have here. So next from H&M are these cargo pants that I absolutely love and I've worn these already also. Honestly, I might wear these to work tomorrow. I really love these pants. There are pockets here and of course the pockets there. There's nothing on the butt, so your butt looks really nice and juicy in these pants. Yeah, I really like them. And they're also bootleg cut, so yeah. And these are another piece that I feel like I can definitely bring into the fall and winter. Just probably gotta wear um, something underneath in the winter. And these cargo pants were $25.99. Um, and these linen pants, I ripped off the tag, but yeah. Ooh, more H&M. Okay. So I've been wanting the Jacques Mousse. The Jacques Mousse. Uh, bucket hat the cream one even the black one I really like the black one but the cream one too I think it's so cute so tell me why I was in H&M and I saw this and I was like oh my god this is giving shock moose straight shock moose so of course I had to get it I had to get it the looks I'm gonna be serving on vacation oh my god so yeah Got that for that, um, and this is $17.99. I got a large because my head is big, and plus my extensions. I definitely need a large. So yeah, I am in love with it. Look at the fraying detail. It's super cute, and it's like a canvas material. Okay, anyways, that's it. I mixed like two words together just now. Next, some linen trouser, not trousers, linen shorts. They've sort of got this ribbed type of esque thing going on. I am absolutely in love with them. Okay, these are not for work. <laughs> these are definitely not for work. But these are deaf for brunch. This is deaf for running errands. This is deaf for whatever I'm doing with my friends this summer or with Saint. Like I absolutely love them, and they're they're kind of heavy, but thick. Like the material is doubled, and I guess it would have to be since you know it's see through. Basically, linen can be see through if you don't. Uh, like it's almost see-through but it's not really nice and, and yeah they did a good job of that at that so your underwear won't show if you're wearing okay next I got some trousers these khaki trousers yeah I really like it it has this stretchy material around the waist it's like a an elastic waistband on there which um I I like because it's probably gonna hold in my Koopa <laughs> so yeah so these are the pants and I am super in love with it the material is nice and thick I don't know to me Zara's trousers are not the material they use on their trousers, I don't know. They're trousers that are not like linen, like they're, to me it doesn't feel like, like this feels like, feels good, feels fancy, feels thick. And these trousers, regular waist sweats. Okay, 
I thought it said the color on it, but it doesn't. And these trousers were only $20 and I got them in a size eight. Um, and I'm excited to wear this this summer for work. And those can be for work, brunch, lunch, dinner, whatever. Probably not dinner, I'm not wearing pants to dinner. Never, I'll never wear pants to dinner. But no brunch, I'll wear, maybe I'll wear pants. Definitely work. Um, next up, we have this skirt, which is also giving me shop moves. And I forget what season it was, maybe season 2020, or maybe last year. I can't remember. But it's giving very much Jacques Mousse. And um, I got this. It's funny how I got this. So I, one of my favorite fashion um, bloggers slash Instagrammers, her name is Nuriana. Nuriana. And I'll link her video, well, her channel below case you guys want to pop on her um but yeah i've been following her for a little while now maybe like two years now three years now and she's amazing but anyway she went to h m and she got these in the uk and so i went on uh she posted the like the link or whatever to get them and the code or whatever so i went looking for them and of course in america sold out online so I was like well skirt wasn't meant for me so I go to H&M and I'm like you know what let me stop by here and after work just to see what's up I got these pieces and tell me why I found this on the sale rack and it was the last one it wasn't on sale though but it was just on the sale rack for some reason and guess what it was on sale it was on sale for $9 less, $10 less. It's a $50 skirt and I got it for $41. So yeah, it was on sale, sorry. So I guess maybe someone returned it and it was the last one left and they just threw it on there. It's in a size 12, but I don't care. If it's big, that's no problem. If it's too small, that's the problem. So I haven't tried it on yet, but Hey, oh my god, I might wear it this weekend to the Juneteenth event. Oh my god. So, yeah, it was the last one. It was the only one, not the last one. It was the only one on the sale rack. And I said, girl, doesn't matter the price. We're getting it. Once I saw the size 12, I was like, oh. So yeah, my camera just cut off. So once I saw the size, I was like, yo. These are mine. They're meant for me. So I got them. And they're the best. It's not there. It is the best. I just I can't get over it. It's so stinking cute. Like look at that detail. And the black the back is regular. But I am in love. Okay, next. I've, I've gotten I got a lot. Obviously I have a color palette in my closet. If you can tell. And it's not really white. It's used to, this funny is that I used to wear a lot of black. Like a lot of black. And in architecture school, I feel like that made it worse because I wore even more black. But anyways, my husband, after I met my husband in college, he was like that. We need to add a little bit of life into your wardrobe because you wear so much black, so much gray. It's like, it's, I was always in black, gray, and white. And if I wore white, it wasn't that much. It would be like a tank top or some, you know, an undershirt. That would be white. And everything else is just black or gray. But now I'm trying to, as in the past two, three years, I've been opening my, after I had Saint, I started opening up my palette to more colors. I always liked olive green and blues and yellows and reds. So those are the colors I'm trying to implement more into my wardrobe. Cause I know I look my, Ugh, I lost a little space. Storage on my memory card. So yeah, I've been implementing more colors that I know I look good. My complexion looks good in, into my wardrobe. 
the lighting's changing, the sun is setting, so yeah. Um, let's get started on the next piece. So this is definitely not for work, but it's definitely for brunch and lunch and even dinner. How cute is that? It's a chain mail top. And I've always wanted one of these, always. It was just always felt like they were overpriced on certain websites. This is 40 bucks. But I feel like I didn't pay $40 for this. Or maybe I, I don't think I did. I'm gonna have to double check my receipt. But uh, absolutely love, absolutely love. I might even wear this this weekend also. To the Juneteenth cacao. All right, are we done with the Are we? I also got this hair clip. Absolutely love it. I've been using it nonstop. And with the humidity in Jersey, you need it. Oh my god, it's just a H&M haul. No, I have some clothes from this other place, but still. <gasps> it's not. Okay, let's go. Next, some more from H&M. Oh my God, guys, now I'm realizing this dress is from Zara, not H&M. That's why I'm looking at my Zara bag like I bought something, like why is it empty? It was this dress, sorry, not H&M, Zara. Okay, I also have a collective haul of clothes that I bought for Saint. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just do that as a separate video, like toddler boy summer clothes or whatever. So yeah, just throwing that out there. Next, another H&M piece, uh, this blazer. So I have a certain look that I wanted to shoot and now it makes no sense for me to shoot it because it, it's with a hoodie. Man, whatever, I might still do it. Um, just to do it. But this is a pinstripe blazer that I got from H&M. I absolutely love it. How much is it? I don't know. $35 and I got an extra extra large so it could be oversized on me. And yeah, I like it. I love it. Um, now that I'm showing you these things to you guys, I can finally start wearing them out to work now because I have it. Um, I got another pair of trousers, another pair of slacks. These are a little different from the other ones. These feel less expensive, but I love the color. The material to me is, I don't know. It, I hope it's not one of those kinds of materials where you, if you drop oil or something on your clothes, the stain never comes out. I feel like this material might be one of those, but you never know, it might surprise me. There's a, it has a boot cut, and the waist is somewhat similar to the other one, and by similar, I mean with the elastic band, but it's definitely thinner. The band is definitely, definitely thinner. It has back pockets. So yeah, I really like these pants. Got another look in mind for these as well with one of my white beaters. So yeah, probably shouldn't call it that. Um, okay. Saint stuff. Thingy. I'm probably 
did in another video that I have not even uploaded yet. Okay, so now we're moving on to some jewelry that I picked up from a store in Soho. So I got um, some fake bank leaves. Uh, I really love the Alhambra color, so I got this from that store. I'm gonna insert some clips, some B-roll clips of when I went to the store during my lunch break. I got a white one, which is larger, and I got this small red one. I also got some earrings with it. Not earrings, sorry. I got some rings, and I'll also be putting that up as a B-roll video, because jewelry is all over the place right now. Okay, next. And I paid like $100 for all the rings in the two chains. Next, we have one item from Fuzz, which I, I, I absolutely love Fuzz. Oh my God, is that a mine's name? It's never gonna come out. <sighs> All right, so I got this white top, this white button up from Cause. It's super long. Like, I absolutely love it. I've worn it once already, and it's definitely gonna be a staple for me for this summer. I love a white button up. Like, absolutely love. I, I, <laughs> I mean, boy button ups do I have. I don't have any this long, but this, the length of this is like the length of my dress right now. And this was $100, but the material is amazing. So $100 too much for you. I'm 100% sure you can find alternatives on Amazon and H&M and what's that website? ASOS. Keep picking up the Zara bag. It's like Zara wants to be featured in this video so bad. All right, this is not a piece for the, well. It's a piece for the summer for me. I got this magazine from Loewe. I went into the Loewe store during my lunch break last week, and I already, I'm already obsessed with the brand. I'm already in love with the brand. That brand and Kate both have my heart, but. They don't have my pockets, or I don't have pockets for them. But we're working on it. You know, a little saving here, a little saving there. We'll get there. So I came across this store while walking through Soho. I was going around looking for some shoes for Saint, and I found this store called That's the name of it. And the one in Soho is closing, was closing down, sadly. And so they were having a 60% off sale. So I was like, hey, let me go check it out because the clothes are very much my style. They're flowy, um, relaxed, chill looking clothes. So I was like, you know what? Let me go in there and take a look. There are a lot of things that I like. Um, but I was on a budget, so I limited myself to only getting two things. And so one of my things was this top. I got it on sale for $100. It was originally like $190. I say $90, I guess. A sale sale, girl. So yeah, I got this top. It's super pretty. This is heavy and it's very delicate, so yeah. But it's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So, but you can obviously see I'm wearing that to brunch, lunch, dinner, whatever. It's going. Next from that store. Um, okay, 
Next stuff that I got from Maria Zoni is this. Oh! Uh, I know. <laughs> I know! I, if you know me, you know I want an Hermes. You know I want a Kelly. You know I'm obsessed. You know. And the obsession is not influenced by TikTok or any of this shit. The obsession was always influenced by Tumblr. Alright, I'm a Tumblr girl. Alright? This is just manifesting my Kelly dreams. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? On my way to work, I see, I see the constants. I see the Birkins, I see the Kellys, I see, what else? Yeah, those are the ones I've mostly been seeing. And also the new pouch, I forgot what it's called. The new pouch bag, ugh, I've been seeing them. Like, I saw this, the most beautiful Hermes I've ever seen in my freaking life in person. It was this green, blue color that I've never seen even online through all like the um, luxury consignment vintage stores that I follow because of course when I buy my first one it's gotta be vintage got this black silk dress and it has a slit or it should have a slit if it doesn't okay it has a slit on the side the back is out and you get to tie it up I'm super excited for this this I can wear work out anywhere work and to go out anywhere not church though unless I wear a cardigan <laughs> I can wear this to church if I wear a cardigan um so here's the shoe I don't see the prices on my um, receipt so I'll try to put up the prices if I find them on here and in the description below I'll also be linking everything in this collective haul in the description below so yeah here's the shoe <laughs> I am absolutely in love with them I love the colors like the sage green that's And you, my husband loves this color on me, so yeah. I got. I already have a pair of green shoes from Zara, but not in this green. The other green shoes I got from Zara are like Bottega green, and this green is more like it's very subtle. So yeah, the shoe is giving me Bottega vibes just a bit with the square. The way the front is, it's just. Just the shape of the shoe also is giving me very much Bottega. It's like Bottega has this way of like with their shoes. So it's giving me very much that. So I love it. And yeah. I think that's it, girl. Yeah, that's it. It for this collective haul. <laughs>